Hello and welcome to the Sports Gazette. Happy St. Patrick's Day. We saw yesterday at Cheltenham their St. Patrick's Day event and we saw a dominant display from the Irish owned horses involved. I'm joined by our resident horse racing expert here at the Sports Gazette, Alex Guilford. And today we're going to look ahead to the Gold Cup. Alex, how have you enjoyed the racing so far this week? Thank you very much, Tom. Thanks for the intro. I think Horse Racing Expert is perhaps a slight stretch, but um, it's been a wonderful week's racing. Obviously, we kicked off in perfect fashion, really, on Tuesday with Honeysuckle, everyone's favourite mare ever, I think, in Jugs Racing, uh, winning under Rachel Blackmore and Constitution Hill. Good day again for the punters on Wednesday. Less good yesterday. Lots of outside chance winners. Um, but we're looking forward to an exciting day today. The ground is fairly soft still, but I'm hopeful that it'll be a bit of a punter's day today. Yeah, it would be lovely after yesterday's shock results that we saw. So looking at the contenders in today's Gold Cup, the current favourite, Gallop and Deschamps. Mm -hmm. How do you reckon they're going to ride today? Uh, I think Gallop and Deschamps obviously has a good chance. He's been 6-4 to four since well before Christmas, so there's obviously a huge amount of faith in him. There is that slight question mark about his jumping. Uh, he fell, went about 10 lengths clear of Bob Oninger and then obviously his chase last year. Um, he should turn that around. He'll have been well-schooled. He's obviously very well fancied. The most interesting bet is Aplutart because he's been 10-1 to 1 or so since well before Christmas when he was pulled up in the Betfair chase back in November, a race which Protectorat would go on to win. Um, last Yesterday afternoon, rather, there was a really interesting market move on him where all the each way value just pretty much completely disappeared within the space of about half an hour. From 10 to 1, he went into 9 to 2, and even with some bookmakers, was as short as 7 to 2, almost 3 to 1. So it was a really, really interesting um, market move. Gallop and Deschamps' odds were affected by that. He went out from 6 to 4 to 15 to 8, almost 2 to 1 at one stage, but that settled back down again. He's now trading about 13 to 8, so not dissimilar to what he was before. The odds on Aplutard have come at a more permanent cost, though, it seems, to Brave Man's Games odds. He's drifted out from 6 to 1. He was second favourite. He's gone out to about 7 to 1, 8 to 1, with most bookmakers now as the third favourite. I'm going to hang my hat on Aplutard, I think, for this one. So, what about you? Yeah, I agree with you. Aplutard is such a good horse. Obviously, we saw last year under Rachel Blackmore's guidance that they absolutely coasted to victory. And I can't see any other outcome other than that. Obviously, you mentioned Brave Man's game there briefly. Obviously, won the King George yeah. back in on Boxing Day. Do you think they'd stand a chance, or do you think this is going to be Aplutar's day? He won it really well, the King George, but it's a very different track. Obviously, that was going right-handed. They're going left-handed today. It's a much flatter track than Cheltenham. He ran once here as a novice. He wasn't spectacular, but Paul Nichols has been so hot on this horse for such a long time. He said a couple of years ago that he was his best horse since Denman, which is not quite the highest praise you can heap on a chaser, but pretty close to. I just don't think he's going to like the track as much today, and I don't think he's going to like the soft ground either. You might remember last year on the Thursday, it was an absolute bog. Brave Man's game uh, was declared a non-runner by Paul Nichols that day, and I think uh, there was a big, big reason for that was the ground. So I don't think he's going to love it soft. I think Aplutard is going to like it soft. Aplutard has a much quicker turn of foot, so it's, I think as long as he's within touch, heading up the hill, I think he's got the best chance of them all. Galapin de Champ is has obviously been targeting this race for a long time and is justified by his market odds, but there's no value, I don't think, in a six to four, thirteen to eight play today. So I'm going to hang my hat on Aplutard, I think. Possible each way play on Manella Indo. Mm -hmm. uh, last year's runner up and won two years ago. He's going to go off at something like 20 to 1 today, um, which represents enormous value for a horse that is proven not only in this race, but it's proven at this track several times as well. He won a novice chase a few years ago at 50 to 1 or something insane for Henry de Bromhead. Um, it would mark an excellent week for Henry de Bromhead as well if any of his horses were to win. Obviously, the tragic news about his son Jack back in September. They named a race after Jack uh, yesterday, the Mayor's Chase. Uh, so it would cap a very romantic week for Rachel Blackmore and all connections, frankly, with Henry de Bromhead, the wider yard and their family. So I'm going all in on de Bromhead, Aplutard to win, Manella in no to place. Very, very nice. Obviously, you mentioned Manella Indo as an outsider. Another small outsider in the race is the current Grand National Champion, Noble Yates. Obviously, under diff a different jockey today after the retirement of Sam Cook. 
Sam Whaley Cohen. Yep. Uh, how do you reckon they'll run in today's Gold Cup? I think he's obviously got an outside chance, otherwise he wouldn't be here today. I don't think, despite being a proven stayer over a much longer trip, I don't think he's going to love the ground today, to complete, to be completely honest. He finished behind a Hoy Senor on trials day. He was a little bit disappointing. Um, I think Protector Rap probably represents better a better value in the market, having won uh, the Betfair chase back in November where Aplutard was pulled up. Um, he's again about 20 to 1 today for the Skeletons. He came third last year. I would be more tempted to have a play on him than I would be Noble Yates, I think, because I just don't think the ground and the undulating track at Cheltenham particularly suits that holes. Very interesting stuff. Well, enjoy the rest of your St. Patrick's Day and enjoy the races today. Stay tuned to the Sports Gazette for some more updates from Alex and myself, and we'll see you soon.